Welcome back to NBA Cinema Knicks fans. So we got to talk about this game that just took place in Miami. Um, Carl Anthony Towns, 44 points, 13 boards. What a masterpiece uh, against the Miami Heat. Um, you know, Mikel Bridges didn't shoot great from the field, but he was taking his shots and he was getting them within rhythm. He wasn't hesitating. Finished with 17 points, six assists, two blocks. A big steal on Jimmy Butler who was trying to save the ball. Good on the perimeter, flying around all night long. OG Ananobi, he can some timely shots, 11 points. Jalen Brunson, I'm proud of you. This is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see you get Cat involved. Some of the times he was probing in the paint, he would drop it off to Cat. He'd find shooters in the corner. And even though they weren't making shots earlier, it's just the fact that Guys are touching the ball, staying engaged more, less one-on-one -on -one Brunson, more team. And Brunson shot six for 18, and this is the best game I believe he's played this season. Uh, 22 points, nine assists. One of those games was a big offensive night for him. I believe it was the home game against the Pacers. But this is his best game this year. He set the table, made sure guys... You know, we're getting their shots in rhythm. Deuce came off the bench, did his thing. But I'm very proud of Jalen Brunson. This is what I've been asking for this season. Now, some nights, Cat definitely won't have it going like this. This is best-case scenario. But you see how engaged Cat was throughout the game uh, on both ends. Him getting the ball early on, I really feel like that fueled him to grab those offensive rebounds late get those finishes late. You know, you, you get a lot of activity out of a big when you're able to feed them the ball. Somebody with an offensive repertoire like Cat, they feed off of their touches. So I really love Jalen Brunson's approach to the game. Don't feel like he has to average what he averaged last year. You know, him and Cat can average about the same thing. Bridges probably should be the third leading scorer. Um, Hart, McBride should average around the same. You know, you got a lot of guys and Ananobi. So you got a lot of guys who um, are able to contribute offensively this year. So Brunson, he, he's like I said, he was 6 for 18, but the shots he took was within rhythm tonight. Didn't really force anything tonight. He can get to his spots anytime, but see him looking to pass and him mixing it up, you can see him finding that balance in the first half, playing kind of against his instincts a little bit at times too make sure he distributed the ball. But once he found that medium, we saw what happened. And this is the way the Knicks should play every single night. Feed Cat. You know, Cat got a rhythm like this. You know, you can put it on cruise control <laughs> a lot of times. And it'll open things up for you. Because Cat is a pick and roll threat. And, and one of the things I was most impressed with with Cat is his ability to put it on the floor Bam Adebayo had absolutely no answer for Cat tonight. Uh, and, and Cat, big bucket out the big bucket, man. Brunson, big buckets. Bridges, some big threes. Really love what I saw from the Knicks tonight, guys. Had to come on here and talk about that. Let me know what you guys think, Knicks fans, about this performance. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.